And our next picture is a very silly comedy called Blank Man that tickled me most of the time with some big laughs before it sort of petered out at the end. Damon Wayans teams up with his old in-living color partner David Allen Greer in the story of a nerdy guy who becomes a neighborhood superhero, much to the amazement of his more cool brother. What do you think? If you walk out on the street like that, they're going to arrest you and lock you in the nut house. They're funny together. The would-be crime fighter gets in trouble with the police, and the scene where his big brother springs him is pretty funny, too. Bye, guys. And remember what I said. Life of crime is a waste of what? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Really think I've reached a couple of them. Robin Givens, an underrated actress, I think, plays the love interest in the film, a TV reporter who sort of likes Funky Blank Man. You better check your sources on that story, Manelli. You might have got a bad lead. Blank Man. I see you finally got somebody that worked with you who dresses worse than you do. And what is your name, my other guy? Well, I don't really have one yet. How about poorly dressed dead man? I found myself laughing a lot at Blank Man, more than I expected to. This is the kind of picture that Robert Townsend wanted to make with his African-American superhero comedy Meteor Man from last year. But Blank Man does work in the tradition of a silly Jerry Lewis comedy. It's nothing but gag, but Wayans and Greer, who were so funny as the gay film critics on In Living Color, I think they work well together here. You know, I know you heard me laughing. We saw this picture together. You heard me laughing, some big laughs. Uh, during the film, and I enjoyed it. Well, I don't think you heard me laughing quite so much. No. I was amused by a lot of the stuff. There were a couple of times there are some big that games. I thought were funny, but generally speaking, Gene, here I have the same problem that you had with, actually, Oliver Stone's film, which is ho a whole lot better, and that is there is no third act. I right. mean, there I agree. are no new jokes at all, and it just kind of, it it kind of dissipates. It. And uh, at the it's same the time, kind of movie, you could watch it on The Late Show, you could watch it on a video, uh, you could have fun with it up to a point, but I can't really recommend it. All right, well, I, and, and I, I had enough laughs in the first two acts that I say to someone, it's funny.